<laughs> Have you decided what you're going to make for Thanksgiving dessert? How about a classic apple pie? <laughs> Melissa well, Cole stopped by Granny's Pie Factory in East Hartford to learn an easy and delicious recipe. Let's gluten. go there. Let's see the gluten. <laughs> so my dad started this business back in 1989. Nico Horovis is the vice president of the family business, Granny's Pie Factory, and today we're learning some of the tricks of the trade. So you're going to show us how to make a pie today. Absolutely. So this recipe is from this book right here. It's called Ratio by Michael Ruhlman. This is my favorite cookbook. Um, and essentially, it's a very simple recipe, and uh, it relies on a scale, so you need a scale to make it, but it's three, two, one. He calls it three, two, one pie. So okay. it's a ratio of three parts fat, which today we're gonna use butter, uh, two parts flour, um, and one part water, and then we're gonna add a little salt, and that's it. Okay, because so, I usually just buy frozen pie crust. That works, you know, we <laughs> sell frozen pie crust if you want, so we, we got you covered. But if you okay. wanna make it yourself, um, this, is a, this is a great recipe. So we have in here, we have eight ounces of butter, and then over here we have 12 ounces of flour, and then we're gonna do between two and four ounces of water. Pie crust is all about getting like a flaky crust, so what you wanna avoid doing is you wanna avoid overworking it, and you wanna avoid adding too much water. Those two things are the, like that's what's gonna kill your crust. All right, all right? So, so the butter needs to be cold, right? Yeah, so exactly. So this butter, we cut up into cubes to sort of pre-mix it, because um, we're gonna do this with our hands, um, and it's gotta be cold. So you want everything to start cold. You can chill the flour, you want, definitely want cold, cold water okay. as well, all right? So, all right, so we got the butter in here, so now we're just gonna add the flour. All right, and then we're gonna have to work this together. So what we're gonna wanna do is start working this with just the tips of our fingers, and just start smushing this all together. Don't overwork it or you'll melt the butter. Just use the tips of your fingers. How are you feeling over there? I mean, I feel like I'm making a little bit of progress. You definitely are, I can see. Okay. So just keep smushing. So you want to give yourself a little bit of time for this part. Just have a little bit of time, you know, don't worry about it. A big pinch of salt, and then add water and gently mix. So this is enough for one, basically a nine or 10 inch pie. So, so the bottom and the top. The bottom and the top. All right, so now what we're gonna do is do this final step, this like final smushing here, we're gonna do in this plastic wrap. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna do this one too, and then we're gonna chill those. Okay. All right, so these are the apples we're gonna use for the filling. These are the apples we're gonna use. So these are Cortland apples. Um, so you, we use these here. Um, we, get, we get them fresh sliced up from up in Mass. Um, and uh, we think this makes really good pie. It's got a nice balance of acidity and sweetness. Okay, so right. these, this is about six medium to large apples. Exactly right. Okay. All right, so this is gonna be about a half a cup of sugar. I'm just put that right in there. A heaping tablespoon of cornstarch. What I'm looking for with this is a sort of like a syrup. I don't okay. want it too thick. So I want it just to like thicken up enough so you get like a nice cinnamony syrup. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of cinnamon here. All right, and you can do, um, I'm gonna heap it though, all right? You can do that to taste, you know? Okay. Some people like, you can start with that and try a little bit more. And then the nutmeg, this is a quarter teaspoon. I'm just gonna do like an eighth, so. An eighth of a teaspoon, yeah, like, so just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah, that's good right there. Okay. All right. Last, add a pinch of salt and then mix it all up. So this part's really easy. I mean, stuff it's you usually have anyway. Super easy, it's super easy. Roll out your pie crust and fill it up. It'll be a good sized pie. You don't want to. You don't want to be skimpy on the apples. Mm -hmm. You know. So. Right. All right. So we got that. We got our top crust, which we rolled out. Okay. So now we're gonna have to seal it up. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna want to wet the edge a little bit, and all this is gonna do is um, just make it, let let the dough stick. So this is just other. cold water. Just cold water. That's okay. it. So there are a number of different crimping techniques you can use if you're crimping by hand. I mean, you can get really super fancy, but for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna break it off like this. You okay. can trim it with a knife too, but I think we've established that I really like doing everything with my hands. <laughs> yes. Um, so we're just gonna do that. This is just all the extra dough hanging off the side. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna press it with my thumb. That's it, go around, okay. press it with my thumb. That's it. That's it. No, no fork, no fancy no fork. tool. You can do a fork. You can, you can like, there's, you can like fold it over and like crimp it together. And but, I don't actually know how to do any of that stuff. So we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna press it together. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I'd be, I would eat this. Yeah, do you, you have know? to like put any holes in the yeah, top? Yeah, exactly. And then you're oh, gonna make a hole, hole in, the in the top. Okay. So we bake ours between 400 and 425 for about an hour, and um, bake it lower on your oven. 
because you want to get as much heat up from the bottom as possible to get the, the, the baked in the tin here. Okay. And um, bake it on like a cookie sheet or something because there could be some juice coming out and you don't want that spilling in your oven. All right. So, okay, I'm excited. that's pretty much it. Thank you. So this is what the apple looks like out of the oven. Looks incredible. Thank you very much. And then we have your lovely parents here. Joan and Tony. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And you're, if you don't want to make your own pie, you can come here and buy one of these amazing pies. That's right. So we have actually over 50 varieties of fruit and cream pies. And we bake and make everything from scratch still. And we bake and cream pies every day. So we don't take any orders for Thanksgiving. And we've been doing it that way for many years but we just keep creating fresh pies throughout the day. So, so come here to the store and pick them up. <laughs> That's Absolutely. right, come here to the store and pick them up. All right, Tony, what's your favorite? Coconut custard. Coconut custard, yeah. 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 I've, been, I've been known to eat the whole thing for once. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. Joan, what's yours? Chocolate peanut butter is my favorite yeah. cream pie. And um, I like our apple. And I love the blueberry peach. Those are my top three. And strawberry rhubarb completes strawberry the top rhubarb, yep. three. All right. Okay. And you? Yep. I like the pecan. Pecan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like the sweets, so one does it for me. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you for thank being you very much. busy. So good luck. <laughs> thank you so much. It was so good to see you. All right. What's your favorite pie? Uh, well, all of those sound delicious, but I really love the berry kind of, but then when they said blueberry peach, that would be amazing, or the mixed berries. Oh, yum. I like the berry ones more than the creamy ones. For more information, go to grannyspiefactory.com. My favorite is blueberry lemon. Oh.